Alrighty, turn 90, March 6th, 1942. Let's see what kind of damage I can do to Helson. We ought to flip the base on Celibus. He missed the destroyer. Good. Oh, type twos. We might get a chance here. Nah, it doesn't look like we're going to get any traction on this guy. Damages. Come on, oh, come on. We didn't even attack. Troops at Terrapo. And day phase. Bad weather again. Look at that. Uh, bombing airfield Epiton. Twenty hits, that's good. There we go, hitting this tanks. Wow, not much damage though. Hitting Clark. Wasn't sure if we get a strike at Clark or not. Thunderstorms, we got one hit, yeah. Not sure it's worth sending the planes in. We have two hits there. There's my zeros. Good job, guys. Better late than never, right? All right. Not many strikes. 
Stupid weather. Still bad weather. See all those go by? Wow, poor air showing for me this turn. This weather really hampered us. All right, let's get into the movement and the combat. Hopefully our troops got out of Chengte, but we'll see, I think, right here. I don't think the rest of, most of them moved in here. We beat on four to one. Destroyed a bunch, but there's enough there they won't, won't surrender right away. Bombardment at Clark. Oh wow, we bombard and we take all the losses. Alright, one to two with our tanks. All right. Oh no, he only bombarded. He probably should have attacked. See the size of that one, that 14th core, 500? How the hell did he get full, full out so fast? I believe all those units there at Chengte were in move mode, so they could have they should have moved pretty far. So next thing they should get out of the base easily. Alright, once the base expansion and production is done, we will pause the video, do a couple saves, grab some intel, come back for the after action. Alrighty, another slow turn, not much really happened, weather prevented, pre prevented a lot of my airstrikes, but that's the breaks. Um, let's go ahead and go over some stats here. Score-wise, we went up 7 points, the Allies went up 4. In the air, the Allies lost 2 to Ops, we lost 2 to Flak, 1 to Ops. Let's go take a look at those. Let's see, we lost 2 Babs to Flak. And one other Babs to Ops. He lost a Seagull and a PB, PBY-4. So we lost three aircraft. Two were killed. Probably both those Babs shot that into Flak. Wonder where they're... Wonder if they're flying over Rangoon. I'll have to see. Figure out where, where, where I have Babs flying and figure out where they're getting mauled at. Or maybe maybe even like Chung Chung King or something. But... Okay, incoming air units for us. We got eight days. So we get some fighters and some and some bombers. Ship sunk. I believe nothing went down last turn. So everything's the same on that front. Incoming ships for us. 57 days to the Junio. 85 days to the Unio. And everything else is relatively small scale. Subs, you know, destroyers. We've got destroyer in a week and then some other miscellaneous ships. Um, let's see, everything looking fine. All right. Incoming ground troops for us. Three days, we get a bunch of port units and, uh, and some tanks. 
And then five days after that, we get a plethora of units. That'll be nice for us. We get some anti-tank guns, uh, but seven naval guards. We get some special base forces. We get a good, a good smattering of units, plus an air headquarters. Those are always useful. Let's go down here and look into production. Aircraft and engines. 15, 26, 37. 40 engines, we got, but we built three Zeros, two Oscars, two Nates, two Sallies, one of everything else there. All right. Devices that we produced, 57 engineers, 45 support, 40 AV, 14 Marines, and we're going to the engines and mines and so forth. Hey, we produced some, some TIE troops too. Cool. It's about time. Some of those TIE units are beat to hell and we need more, we need more re reinforcements on them. All right, let's go ahead and hop out of here and go into Combat Reporter. We'll take a look around. At sea, we had the ASW, the uh, Allied sub attacking our destroyer down there in the, um, what, the uh, near Santa Cruz Islands, but that's not what those are called. New, new Hebrides, that's what it is. He missed, we bombed, we dropped a bunch of depth charges, but couldn't get anything other than a couple rattles on the ground. Hang Chow, we attacked. We got four to one odds on those fleeing troops. Killed almost 600 of them, but they're, st they're still there. Clark Field, we bombarded and took a beating th th this time. Chang Ta, I thought for sure he would do a deliberate attack. Um, but he did not, um, which is good because we only had two, well, three divisions. But that's that, the bottom one's really not a not a not a division. Everything else escaped, and these guys should escape next turn. And then at ninety fifty six near Hang Chow, our tanks attacked one of the last uh, units from Wen Chow that that fled. This one actually has some assault strength. It it tried to fight back, but really couldn't against tanks. We we wiped out one hundred eighty four of them. Amphibious, we finally landed at, at Terrapo. We should be capturing it next turn. In the air, minimal air action, to be honest. Um, I'm guessing 80% of my airstrikes were canceled due to bad weather. Um, we attacked a few bases. Um, the Allies tried to bomb um, Miri again at night. Um, he did not get any success. We we couldn't get any. We didn't get any real shoot shots on him either. I think one of our big trouble is this right here. Our interception time is seven minutes. We're picking them up late because we don't have don't have any radar in our in our base forces yet. Once we get radar, this will go out to like like twenty seven minutes or so, and, we'll, and then and then he'll come into a you know everyone on everyone up. But we bomb some troops in Sumatra. We bomb some tanks in Burma. The seventh armored, seventh armored uh, British brigade there at Prome. He's coming down south. So it looks like he actually is going to try to hold Rangoon. That's fine. We will see. Makes me want to surround him even more, and we bomb some some Chinese troops as as well. Up into the sign signet. Um, let's see Anchorage, Nomia, Delhi, Batavia, Rawalpindi, and Brisbane. Nothing uncommon there. And some ops reports. Unknown. Alright, the brigade upgraded some things. Probably those 37mm uh, anti-tank guns to the 47. We lost some troops down at, at, uh, at uh, Dilly, I believe it was. We're picking them up. Task forces being... Task forces spotting enemy aircraft. Submarine information. Okay... Us, our aircraft spotting enemy ships. I mean, the ones that it might be subs might be honest. Um, the rest of them are not. There are some allied ones in here too. Replacements. Looks like our Sally's and Glens are finally all back in the pool, so that's good. Repairs. We we finished conversion of two ACMs and we repaired an AK over at Singapore. Uh, leader has gone from uh, probably a fragment back to the pool. Three aircraft down for maintenance. We captured one base, pa Palopo. We auto flipped it in Celebus. Intel, we built some stuff. They, he built some stuff. His points are coming from the airfield at Wellington and Cox's Bazaar. Probably mostly Wellington. 
we expanded Man King and Lang Song went to a size four fort and Woodlark Islands up to a size two fort. Once you hit three, we'll start building airfields. That way, I, that lets me concentrate on one thing at a time. Remember, when you build forts, your enemy is not notified when you build fort, fort, fort levels. It is concealed, so unless he's reconning me, he may not know I have troops there. And But as soon as you build an airfield or a port, that tells him that there's engineers there. But building these forts, so basically, if he doesn't know I'm there, as soon when that airfield pops up to level one, he's going to see I have guys there and think I have no forts. So it's just, I like to build like these little islands. I like to build forts up to like three because it's pretty, pretty quick with a decent size uh, engineering unit. And then you start on the airfield. So that way, if, if he decides to do anything, you at least have some levels of forts to hide behind. Remember, forts do protect against air, air, and, air and bombardment attacks as well. And damaged aircraft. Let's see, that one crashed on landing and was destroyed and we got two damage. All right. Let's hop out of uh, Combat Reporter. Let's spin around the map here and look at some things. All right, in Burma, our massive force has reached uh, Pegu. He does not have it recon, but he probably sees us here. So, if I'm right by what I've been what I what I've been told, this is about a thousand assault strength, and we got two thousand. So if that's all high-end British and they're and you know they're and they're in good shape, that this will be a fight depends on the forts, but either way it will be doing good. That should be that tank unit. I want to bomb the hell out of it some more. Now it's in jungle though; it's gonna come zipping down here. And we want to slow it down and do as much damage to it as we can before it gets into Ran Rangoon. Let's see. Scroll down. We got troops moving up the coastal road. All right. What do we got here? Oh, that's the, another another division. I am so tempted to move that up to Ramry Island and drop it off. But I, he's building up Chittagong Airfield, slice seven. He's starting to build up Cox. I'm just afraid I don't have the air cover to get it there. So we might go for um, Molmeen, but that's as far north as we'll, as we'll send it. These guys are just heading back to Singapore. This guy's heading up to Port Blair to capture that. Then we'll grab these islands. These guys are all right here, heading back to Singapore. And that's Singapore bound, and that's northbound with a bunch of uh, base forces. Yep, and and looks like an air, an air HQ. All right, we got supplies going up to Bangkok to feed Burma, and a bunch of units, bunch of guys in here starting to load up and such. Let's see, all right, we're about to get to Jan Janby, and we'll take that oil there. Then we'll head up, we'll, uh, that's a tank unit, right? I'm not sure if we're going to send him up up these trails or not. We might just send him back down to Palembang, pick him up on a, on a boat and drop him off at some of these. All right, we got supplies here and troops heading south to drop him off here at Katajati. Looks like he has some auxiliary, probably just recon. But not much else going on down here. We need to reinforce those troops there and get some more supplies to them. Over here at Miri, we're dropping off a bunch of supplies so we can re re repair this oil. I need to bring some troops down here and take care of this base and take Ku Ching back. And then slowly, once like we take Makassar and that, we can start worrying about Paterakia and San Marinda and Balak Papin. Down here, we auto flip Palapo. So we got some stuff. Decide we gotta chase this guy down here, and we gotta take Makassar. Then the, then the island's ours. Up here in the Philippines, same old, same old. I still have a bunch of islands I I need to be landing at. And then down in the DEI, I'm doing a pretty good job. I got pretty much everything east of of uh, of of Timor is ours. 
Um, we are going to load these guys up and drop them all over here at, at, at law turn. And we should take this base, and then we could bring our little guys in behind them and grab these dot bases and start working up, up this archipelago. And then we'll take our, our marines in that here and drop them off at Koepang and, and, and take this last base. That should be pretty much the only resistance, Koepang and Law Turn, until we get up to pretty much uh, uh, Sumatra. I mean, Java. I always get those two confused. All right, down in New Guinea, New Britain, and Solomons, everything's going good. We landed the Terrapo. We will take that base. Does not look like he has anyone at way, but I thought he did. Uh, our next objective down here is going to probably be Port Moresby. But I, where we got all the dot bases, we're working our way down here. We need to reinforce this area. Let's see, we're spotted here, spotted here. I think we'll head south to make them think we're coming down to to Fiji, and then maybe break the the um, troops back off for their actual destination. Hey, coming back up, everything's going fine. Got a bunch of ships either heading back to Japan or bringing back, bringing down supplies and men to to the South South Pacific region. Let's take a look at my at my picket line. We got severe storms, heavy rain, partial clouds, partial clouds. I got a pair of those, and ooh, we got three of a kind. That's I think our first three of a kind for for this game. In the north, it's all resource and oil convoys. We're moving uh, resources here, moving some units out of Japan. Nope, they must have moved out already. And we're just waiting for new stuff to, uh, to come in. And in China, um, a lot of our airstrikes were canceled. The bulk of our troops are out of here now. Look, he's pulling those guys out. Let's see, he's a 44, he'll, he'll move out easily. He'll move out easily, and he'll move out easily. Okay, all three of those units should move out, and we're bringing them all back to Li Sai Chang and probably down to Hang Kao and let them sit up in this area and uh, recover while we decide where we're going to try to strike next. Other than that, not a whole lot's going on. If you, did, if you are enjoying watching the turns unfold with me, please go ahead and click on the like button. If you're following this campaign or my campaign against Logic, but you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit, go ahead and click on that button. It doesn't cost you anything, and it gives me an extra an extra subscription, which brings maybe brings in some a couple more viewers, gives some more exposure to the to my channel and the and the game. Just the standard standard routine. But until the next next turn, you guys have yourself a great day, and I'll see you later.